So I'm gonna be honest. When I first found out about Winter, I honestly thought she was a completely different character than what she was going to be. So, like, the thing is, yes, I am using the guide as a guideline. That doesn't mean I know exactly what's gonna happen, though. But anyway, welcome back to Onyx. Last time, we got kind of a bit of a situation. We were supposed to use the Blitz Cycle, but Ball got in the way. And because Ball got in the way, we ended up getting sucked into a different place entirely without the rest of our party. We are all alone. Also, uh, we're gonna need Rose Thrust soon, so that's nice to have. Anyway, we need to go and see a certain someone. Oh, oh, fuck me sideways. What is this? You're still here? Rather late for you to still be coaching my daughter, is it not? Sorry, Miss Silver. I mean, Your Majesty. I'll, uh, get out of your way. Wait. Uh-oh. What's your name? Uh, um, John. John Michaels. There's no coach by the name of John Michaels in this land. Fuck. <laughs> Whoever you are, you need to leave at once and never return. We will have eyes on you. Should you choose to stay, we will explore our options. <laughs> so he just gets the hell out of here. I'm going to check on my daughter. I will return in a moment. Be careful, my love. The princess is possessed. I will know if my daughter is possessed by a demon. And I will respond appropriately. The diamond is here, as I thought he'd be. I anticipate he'll meet the princess, the Artemis Ball. Worry not, my queen. I'll leave Drea to you. All I want is the diamond. I do not like the sound of this. It is dark as fuck. Alright, let's get the hell out of here, though. We have no business here. I mean, goodbye! Oh, never mind. Alright, let's go. Alright, we have no business here, so let's... No trust. No, it's not. Alright, where's the exit? Alright. So we just have to go south. The Rock Crusher. So the funny thing is, all the enemies here are waiting to the Forbidden Elements. They don't give me much GSP though. Let's slice Enzan. Yep, here we are. There's another town, but we don't need to go there. Enzan, huh? Looks like a wholesome place. People got their windows wide open. Evan Selwyn, where are you? Not like the mag her majesty of the clues. Maybe I could try a crowded place. Someone here has to know him. A crowded place. Alright, let's see. He is dark as hell. Well, I mean, there's the inn. The shop is closed. Of course. Alright, let's see. The only place that seems to be open is the inn. There are luckily no encounters out here. What is this music? Oh my god. All right, guys, we're going to the end. Grand reopening coming soon. Oh, fuck me. All right. What else is there? Oh. Oh. The okay, where's the music coming from? It's louder over here. Over here? No. That is interesting. The music gets louder the closer you are to where you're supposed to go. Oh, yep, here we go. Here it is. I'm probably getting copyright claimed. Ooh, a fight. How long has this been going on? The entire time it was away? Nah, before. Want another one? How about another? Another! Ooh, shit! Oh my god, Evan! All this drama is stressing me out! Evan? Don't tell me that's him! You guys, don't fight him! 
Over fight me. Over fight me. Don't. Isn't that supposed to be don't fight over me? Say out of this, Vicky. There's, there's no point in any of this. Sen has ten times the followers you do. I'm saying, but like, I can't do as far as I could. What? Oh, is this some kind of like. Well, what about a trip to the White Island? I thought it was your happy place. Yeah, back then. Does this dude get like NTR or something by this trick? I was, dude. How do you like that, bitch? Said stop! Don't kill him! You lose your sponsors! He's so not worth it. That punk needs to stay in his place! Don't you ever think you can press me? Hey, you okay? Got my ass beat by the guy who stole my girlfriend. What do you think? Oh! Was I right when I say he got NTR'd by this dude? Touche. Hey, hey, hey! No fighting! Take that shit outside! Go on, get! Security! Oh my god, I cannot get thrown out of a club. That's like the most uncool image in the history of uncool. Let's bounce, Vic. We'll post this to Mediagram. See how much business this shit will get then. Mediagram? What? Is that? You know what? I'm not gonna say anything. You two! What did I do? He's talking to me. Vicky doesn't have time to come home, but she has time for Zed? That rhetorical? Seems like we've been together for a while. Maybe we should just start a match? You're not helping. Look, I'm just saying. You don't have what she wants, whatever that could be. That doesn't mean you're the problem. It just means you and her aren't right for each other. But I love her. Clearly, the feeling isn't mutual. Why doesn't she love me? Was it only about numbers? Probably. Let her go. Let yourself heal. Why are you being so nice? We may have a friend in common. Are you Evan Selwyn? Yes. Does the name Nicole Silver ring a bell? Y you know Nicole? So that means... Different world, yeah. Anyway, she said you could help us. Let's talk at my place. I saw her at the park, asked the people if they knew me, and after I introduced myself, she told me everything. As much as she could before our guards carried her away, anyhow. I gave her my number told her to call me so I could explain more. And you just believed her? I'm what you call a scholar of the paranormal, the supernatural, the just plain weird. My highest viewed series on WatchTube. Oh my fucking god, he seems. <laughs> I can't, dude. It was about parallel worlds. It's inevitable that somewhere out there, some thing can freely travel between worlds. When this happens, the object should leave behind an impact point, a link between the worlds it traveled between. And whoever gets caught in them will unknowingly follow the object's trail. Oh, that would explain a lot. That's how Nicole ended up here. Oh, so you could tell the princess got caught in impact point just by looking at her? That's still a huge leap. Hey, Chad, over here. Let me show you something. Uh, I don't like the sound of this. Can I go upstairs and check stuff? Okay, there's a room here. Worth it! We got a recovery bottle. See, it always helps to check these places. Alright, what do you want to show me? Remember when I said an object so, had an object so powerful it could travel between worlds? In all my research, I came across one such object. The Onyx. Yep, here we go with that. You know about the Onyx? Of course! What kind of paranormal scholar would I be if I, my ears weren't peeled? Oh, to the dark sea, it's Alamia's underbelly. This baby right here is the only literature on it. Why do you have it and not say the queen? Well, she did have it, but I made some uh, arrangements, and now it's mine. What would you like to know first? Uh, all right. Ask about the onyx. Uh, the onyx boy. Okay, let's uh, scan everything. What's about the onyx? What exactly is the onyx? It's thousands of years old, created by an ex-goddess named Gena. Doesn't say what she was the goddess of, but she brought misfortune and chaos to the lives of the people for her own amusement. Oh my gosh, that sounds great! Which, as you can imagine, ain't exactly goddess-like. You know, you don't say. 
Eventually, she was banished from Wheat, the realm of the Four Titans, and cast down here at Alumia to walk among the land dwellers as the land dweller herself. The deal was that she couldn't return to Wheat, should she help enough people? She could. The world stricken by famine and drought, then. Alumia had no short of helpless. helpless. Unfortunately for her, being on land severely limited her powers. The best you the power she had left, she had to share pieces of her own essence to those who needed it more. Eventually, she ran out. Having nothing more to share, she'd be pretty much sacrificing herself. As you can imagine, Genna wasn't about to accept that. Desperate for revenge, she stirred up as much trouble as she could. A genocide here, or curses there, to provoke the creator titans of Wheat to attack. Her plan worked. They came after her with full force, first sticking their Ouija of gods and goddesses on her. But she was prepared. She set traps for each of them, killing them all. She absorbed what she could and put the remnants of their souls inside Onyx. With each god and goddess she killed, the onyx got larger and brighter, so bright that your eyes would explode from the mere glimpse of it. When only the four creator titans remained, she took the fight to Leith. Should be a slam dunk, right? Um, I don't know. The four titans created everything. They existed long before Ganna and will always exist. She was a damn fool thinking she'd win against them. To punish her, they stripped her of her power and body, doomed her to wander Elmia as little more than a ghost, unseen and unheard, unfelt. Unless... conjured. Like, summoned? Who'd summon her? No one. Doesn't mean that lost entities can't take advantage of summoning rituals might be for something else. <gasps> oh no! Doesn't that mean- So, remember earlier when Joseph was being manipulated for all that ritual stuff? Was that to try and bring Genna out? No, that doesn't make any sense, because Genna brought- Chantel back from the dead. I think I may be on to something, but I think I'm hallucinating. That happens all the time, especially the conjurer's spirit is tainted. Uh huh. Tainted? What do you mean? Negative emotions like anger, jealousy, greed, and vanity can darken your soul. They cry out to forces outside for a desperate, desperate for a way in. That's why so many demons are so dangerous. Practice as mad dark as it is, but if your spirit is dark arc already, you can be summoning anything. Wanda experience again don't really exist anymore, so their forms aren't bound by the laws ours are, allowing them to weave through worlds at will. So no, no one would summon Ganna, but if she happened to be at the right place at the right time, well... I see. Would the Titans do the Onyx? Why didn't they destroy it? They couldn't. It was too powerful. Destroying it would obliterate all of existence, maybe even theirs. They thought they could drain its power, but only managed to drain less than a third of the it before the Onyx fought back. It then took off, setting off the first of many, many Onyx chases. Onyx chases, huh? Alright, what about the Onyx boy? Who is the Onyx boy? The Onyx and the Onyx boy are basically one and the same. Think of the Onyx boy as the Onyx's representative. He was created with the creator titans for draining its power. That was why they became so little of it. The Onyx boy put a stop to it and ran off with the Onyx. Every time they found him, the Onyx boy took off again. So the creator titans put together a failsafe system. They couldn't put the emerald, ruby, crystal, and diamond all in the same world. The Onyx would sense the atmospheric ripples they generate split, but by spreading them out, if they were ever needed, at least the Titans would know where to find them. You got it! So that would explain one thing. Alright, what about the Forbidden Elements? Forbidden Elements are as follows. Diamond, Crystal, Ruby, and Emerald. Destroying the Onyx outright would destroy everything, so Creator Titans used the power they were able to drain from it to create a kind of failsafe. If I had the power to drain from the Onyx to four pieces, taking up your piece and filtering it within her individual essence. Crystals represent the power of the mind. Their opposites, the diamond, represent the power of the heart. Rubies represent the power of the body, contrasted by emeralds, the power of the soul. In all the worlds that exist, there is only one diamond, one crystal, one ruby, and one emerald. Creator Titans spread the gems across different worlds and time periods, hide them from the Onyx. We'll have if the Onyx found them. It'd take off. Then why wouldn't it escape to a world where it doesn't have to run away all the time? The Onyx is a magical object. The first thing to know about magic objects is that they're far tethered to the dimension they're aiming in. The longer it's away from its birthplace, the more power it loses. So it evaporates when it's away. So that's why the kid was crying when I met him. It was an actual pain. Damn. Anything else? Alright, well, there's more apparently. Queen Dre, Evan, Vicky, and Zach. Okay, well, <laughs> we don't care about those bastards. But what about the Queen? Is Dre a good Queen? What does she do? She's a great queen, patient and kind, but tough when she needs to be. The Sadu dynasty has kept us safe for generations. Though the princess is a different story. Why? 
Since the last night ceremony a month ago or so, the nation has begun anonymous threats swearing of revenge. What? Nothing's happened yet, but the Queen is still freaking out, of course. Hard to tell what troubles her more. The threats or the thought somebody hates her. She married once, briefly, to a noble named Snow, who produced one child, Winter. Since the divorce, we haven't had a state prince of forever. The last king was her father, King Julius the the Eighth. He passed away ten-ish years ago from, ma from magi radiation. He was warned to stay hey, out of Ar Arcusa. He was determined to help the suffer. Wait a minute, isn't Arcusa the same place that Navia knew about was going to have a disaster, but then did nothing about it, and then boom, disaster struck? Wow. You mentioned threats. Any idea where they're coming from? Nope, but this person's quite delusional, claiming that we have a better queen than Drea could ever hope to be. Queen, right. We knew about a broad named Chantel. Chantel? Chantel Yoni? Really couldn't tell you. Well, there's the only Chantel I've ever heard of. But she's just some social I think. Come to think of her brother, I don't know what she does. Last I heard she was training hating to work for the queen. Hmm. We have a lot to talk about. Oh, one important thing to know about Princess Winter is that she has visions. I want to tell you his mad secret. I'm the only civilian who knows. More over a month ago, Princess Winter had a vision that revealed the location of the Onyx. Fearing what would happen should the wrong person get their hands on it, Queen Drea sent her most talented fighters to retrieve it. We, Sir, and a young priest named Peter. They were never seen again. What happened to him? Three fresh bodies were found in Arcusa, belonging to a female and two males. I suppose the Queen is waiting for details to confirm before she breaks the news, but it's obvious it's them. The bodies were covered a short while ago. They'd been gone for a week, the Queen Cougar could concerned. She was apparently right to me. They were burnt to their very bones. What could be strong enough to do that, hmm? Oh my gosh, that's brutal. Alright, well, I guess we have to hear about this, too. What's the story you, Vicky, and Zed? Ugh, do I even have to talk about that? Only if you want to. It's fine. Vicky and I went to school together. We hung out in different circles. Well, she hung out in the circles, and I read books in the library. One night she came in during lunch, crying about how guys were always playing her. I knew it gave her a shoulder to cry, and next thing I knew, she was kissing me. Oh no! Oh my gosh, I think I know how this all plays out! She is using you, dude! She wanted to keep our relationship a secret, which I didn't mind, as long as we kept making it. Dude! I think she was cheating on him! Oh my gosh, that's awful! As you go closer, she had more and more of herself to me. I thought she loved me. I was accepted at a top university in the nation. She promised to wait. But the whole time she was seeing Zed behind my back. So I've been home, she said all two words to me. As for Zed, he's a 22-year pain in my ass. Any girl that so much cost my way, he takes. He's enrolled in nearly all my classes in high school, only to prove he can get better grades than me. But spoiler alert, he didn't. Thought I was finally free of him. Now we're both grown, but I guess I can't have nice things. Bruh! Oh my goodness! Wow, that's awful! I feel bad. Alright, let's- we're done. That's basically just a bit. Anything else to interest you, my man? No, I'm good. Any more information, my head will explode. Well, actually, I do have one more question. What's the Artemis Ball? Dicky said that Twinch will meet up with us. The Artemis Ball is a fundraising gala in honor of Artemis Sadu, Winter's great-great-grandmother. All night long, people form for the Royals. Pretty much the only time of the year just regular- but Jaguar's good to meet him. It's too bougie for my taste. I never go, but that's the plan. The Artemis Ball is until next week, so we have some time to get to know each other. That's a pretty sweet sword you got, brother. I can wield a sword too. Weld? What the hell? Yo, I, I feel like I should take make a compilation of all these spelling mistakes and just like gather them up. I'm probably gonna do that. Cause I do actually save all the files. Oh no. The second child I killed doesn't get easier, does it? Uh oh. Hi Rex. Cut the crap! Where's Justina? Excuse me? Who do you think you're talking to? You were the last one with her! Not now, please. Then what? It's been a week! How could you leave her alone out there? We have to find her! Maybe she's alone. Maybe she's rotting six feet under. What? Wow, Jesus, what is going on here? It's like spelling mistake hell! I'm doing with enough. I don't need your paranoia adding to it. Why are you being like this? 
I'm sorry, Rex. I'm just having a bad day. I need to be alone. Is there someone in our bed? Get out! Are you troubled, my queen? Go back to sleep. Is this even worth it anymore? Ah! Who the hell is this? Oh no! Hey, wake up! Are you okay now? I heard your soul crying. I guess. Where is that bitch? We're the only ones here. You're the one who saved me? Uh-huh. Your soul was hurt and angry. Heard it all the way across the world. I wanted to save it from turning into a demon. What's your name? Um, I don't have one. Hmm. You saved my life, so I guess that makes us friends. Which I can name. Sure. I'll call you Chester. It's my dad's name. I'm just Ian Elmer. You can be Chester Elmer Jr. Sorry for the extreme dorkiness. <laughs> Even though Onyx Boy has a name now. Yes? Have you heard of the Onyx? Uh-oh. One week later... Chad has been writing down his thoughts and feelings. His journal is just about half full. Can we actually check the journal? We want to get good seats. We gotta leave now. Alright, so we do not have everybody in the party, but I want to see. Can we actually check the journal? Of course not. Guess I actually have stuff to write about. Wait, that description I think is different now than it was before. I have 82 ice clubs because of my grind. Oh my god. Interesting. Alright. Let's go. I should probably save, just in case. We went through a lot of dialogue. Alright, let's go. I'm hoping to get through this whole segment today. Alright, how do I get out of this damn town again? Oh, is the Artemis Bowl here? How do I get out of this place? That's it. Evan! C -c chloe hi! Don't you uh, hate these things? Nothing good's on TV, so I thought I'd come and watch people embarrass themselves. I was having to run into you about Gawa's being vapid influencer feeding grounds and all. I wasn't sure you'd show. Well, uh, 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 thing I am on a top mystic mission, top secret! Why are you being so awkward? Shut up! Who's your new friend, Heaven? He's, uh, not a friend, but, um, uh, a diamond! Jeez, you're down bad, bro. Hehe, <laughs> let's find a seat before they get here. Yes, I agree! They are evil and must be stopped! Uh, or ran away from. Get a grip, you're embarrassing yourself! And me! <laughs> oh, gosh. The festivities will begin in our part of best performances. One want to support the royals, now one way. Now remember, you never know who's watching. Music's biggest stars got to get their start in that very stage. This will be so much fun. Who needs luck when you have talent? We can get discovered, horsey! Good luck, princess. Ah, thanks. I mean, hmm. There's a heal. There's a shop. Guess I have time to kill. Let's see what on the worst street is. What demon is really up to? All right, so we are winter. She's only level sixteen. All right, we can buy some stuff at least. Let's pick up a few more heals. And a few more of these because we're never gonna need some waters. And. Buy two cell pills, just for safety. 
And I can only sell all my crap now, but you know what, fuck it, let's sell all my crap now. Just so we have money. Because once the time comes to buy some new equipment, let's sell our 73 blue tongues. Now, the way we're going, I might be able to buy the emerald earring. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have so much money. Devil's Pendant. 21 rapiers, rapiers. I don't know why people call it rapier, but on the vibe boy, it's actually on a weapon, so I don't want to sell that. Like, that's it. All right. All right. Let's see what we got. Why are you talking to me? Don't you see I'm practicing? Now my act is ruined. But excuse me, I just want to talk. Why well, don't? I haven't gotten your ever so gracious feedback at last year's ball, as if I could be mediocre in any respect. I'm sorry, I had no idea I said that, honestly. Talk to someone who cares. We're along now. Wow, what a bitch. Hey, Princess, what are you doing? Victor, what you doing? Uh, nothing. Are you gonna sing make believe I can Oh my god, I can't read that. Uh, yeah, you go, girl. I tell her anything about David from her. Got problem, ho? Step. The landlord raised the rent, now my parents can't afford it. I really need to get discovered for them. Huh, that's free. Oh, wait. Okay. Do you really think we'll find Chad here? What? The light is shot hot in this direction, they said. He has to be around here. Or be here somewhere. Jade is so worried. I don't know, guys. You really think he's gonna show up to a ball? We looked everywhere else. If he's not here, then we'll keep looking. We have to find him. I miss my home. The stretch life may be easy for you, Jeffrey, but it's hard on us girls. Creeps everywhere. Hey, you guys know Chad? You know him, Princess? Oh, please tell us you've seen him. Yup, if you listen to me, he's here. Yes! Thank Maker, we can finally, finally we can return home. Jade will be so happy. Who's Jade? His girlfriend! Uh-oh. Come again? Don't listen to him. We aren't dating, but Jade likes him. She thinks we don't know, but we do. Oh. It's starting. This damn nation people took all the good seats. Oh, well, let's sit here. You can smell the pretension in the air. I wish Zed was participating, but throw food at him. Shh, you'll conjure him here. You're right, you must not conjure. Evan, are you okay? Oh, shit. Not here, Zed. We can't, like, rebrand ourselves and get into fights with the same people. Fine, but if you so much as breathe in our direction, it's over you, Selwyn. God, I want fucking destroy this guy. Huh? Oh? Ladies and gents! Welcome to the annual Artemis Ball! We have some great performances to do tonight, so sit back and enjoy! First up is Anne Santiago from his icon! Which we actually have to watch the performances, because this might go way too long. How y'all doing? Ouch, who gave this girl a microphone? She's even using a mic. Oh god. Okay, we don't have to actually watch all the performances. Uh, hi, my name's, um, Rocky, and, um, I'm gonna do tricks with my pet and best friend, um, Orsi. My love him, mother. You can't stop us from being together. You're telling you fell in love with a criminal? But he's changed, mother! Luke, show Mother the man I know. If she sees with her own eyes how pure-hearted you are, surely they will earn her blessing. Um, ahem. Luke, darling. 
<laughs> well, what does this young man have to say for himself? Oh, look, mother's waiting for your response. Mine. <laughs> okay, that one was really funny. That one was great. I see him. Let's get out of here. We're starting to. How do you start sewing shit? <laughs> Don't the organizers, whoever's in charge, screen their talent? Nope, this is supposed to be in honor of the Royals, so anyone can sign up. Bo Booing's supposed to be against the rules, but. Did you guys see him? Chad's here! He's with Evan, just like I told him. Thanks for your help. I promise I'll explain everything when this is over. No need. We won't get it. We're just having Mal and Oas back home. Seems like I'm up next. Thanks again. Good luck! Alright. Let's just get this part over first, and then we'll, we'll probably end it after that. Oh, I should talk to the NPCs in there. Damn it. Alright everyone, the final act is on the world herself. Hold on to your seats, cause it's gonna be a cold winter. This song is one of the few memories winter allowed me to have. You can do this, girly. I'm not even gonna read this. I'm not even gonna try to sing any of this, because I would literally kill all the woods ears. Ah! Uh, winter! Behind you! Drea, settle down. Show's over. Who are you? Think harder, princess. You know who I am. Nikki! Chad! Queen Drea Sadu. Miss me? Is that gentle? What do you want? A lot of things, but of all else, oh, I want you and your hellspawn eating worms. Such darkness. This is not the girl Denya Ho Yan Yi raised. How dare you speak her name? Damon, do something! Certainly, my queen. Your eyes, they changed! His name is Ball, and he's mine. He used you so I can get close to the power here. But then I realized what an opportunity this could be. Is. This part of the show? Duh. So realistic. Peter really is evolving. Oh my god, these idiots. Leave her alone. Wait your turn, princess. Oh boy. Why don't you and I go somewhere private? Ah. Uh Where did all the NPCs go? You okay? I'm fine. Something's gonna explain to me what's happening, right? Where did the audience go? It appears they took us outside of reality. Only a career being can pull this off. Ball's gotten his power back. Okay, somebody better start talking right now. Um, uh, it's kind of hard to explain. You find the Onyx, what happens then? We aren't sure. Should send everyone back to their own world. What happens after that? We don't know, but right now it's more important than Chantel doesn't get it. Guys, we have to go. My mom, I mean, Queen Treya is in danger. But what should I do? Wait here, okay? Fade an attack, pretend it's Vicky, and kick every inch of its ass! Got it! <sighs> oh my god. Can you fight? Oh yeah, I can fight! Well, that answers one question. Evan Selwyn joins. I don't know how long he's gonna be in the party, but, you know, I guess it's better than having two party members. Alright, so he is level 18, so he's pretty good on his own. What does he have for skills? War! He is basically just Joseph, but... Huh. Interesting. He's basically just Joseph, but with a skill that actually costs MP. 
And Joseph barely you got to do anything when we had him. What's he up for stuff? Aqua. Let's give him some stuff. Oh. Halves MP cost. <laughs> you know I'm taking that later. For sure. And winter... Alright, that should be good. Alright, so we are outside of reality. Oh! Okay, that's cool. Free heal. Anyway, we are here at the Artemis Ball, and next time on Onyx, we have to go save the Queen from Ball and Chantel. And, you know, figure out a way to get the hell out of here, too. But, you know, that part's just as important as everything else. Anyway, I'll see you then.